My name is Philippe Ascoli. Uh, I run a label named Source. I met uh, Simeon through, uh, first of all, the management. I went to see them in Stockport. That is really a strange place for me as a French guy. I arrived, they banned my eyes. They put me in the car, they kidnapped me. And I was really afraid. But it was really raining, it was a terrible day. And in my head I say, I hope that they are good because if they are not good, I live direct. They bring me to the basement. I open my eyes. They, they, and uh, I see a fantastic band, you know. Again, and I run uh, Brindaren Recording Studio in Snowdonia, in the north of Wales, the UK, so they say. At the moment, we've got Simeon, and uh, we're really enjoying it. I went over. I went over to Manchester to listen to these recordings, and uh, when I went over to listen to the what was supposed to be demos, he. Uh, that you played me these demos and they sounded like finished recordings to me, so I just sort of went. I think they're they're going in a direction which combines the the technology with the feel and that's really makes something happen. When you get too much technology you lose the that sense of people in it. But they're all really good players. Well, the Church of Simeon is basically started when we decided to start doing live events. So we sort of scouted around looking at possible venues and the ones that we loved were churches. People are like putting their own little thing onto it and they're sort of asking us what our doctrine is and where's the Bible. Simon changed, uh, I think Simon changed a lot from the first time I met him. I think he got a lot of charisma and uh, he, he changed uh, a lot. He's a really a rising star, I think. Alex was always the, the one who got really, for me, the rock attitude from the scratch. He's the, he's the rock and roll guy of the band for I hadn't planned to make an album. We just sort of finished one all of a sudden. It was ready. I suppose one of the main things I enjoy is the, uh, the feeling of, of pure bass. <laughs> His art is just, uh, it just works on so many levels. My name is Thomas Grunfeld. I'm an artist. It's so simple, but it's stunning. We have here in one animal, we have the protector and the protected, the hunter and the hunted.
for me, I don't know if it's true really, it bring all these blips and all this sound and all this crazy moog. I think it's the psychedelic of the band. They're odd. <laughs> I like odd. Quite often when we're making the track, um, we can just get all the various pieces that we've thrown into the computer. Sometimes, just out of this randomness, there's a spark of just one little thing. You've got a taste for strange noises and kooky things. I like that. It's good. The way the studio is set up is there's the computer in the middle. And then there's just keyboards and pots and pans, bits of percussion. I think he's the one who got soul, really, who got the funk. The whole alien thing is, is an uncontrollable beast. It just alters your, the way your brain works. How did they get there? How did they sort of get into that realm? That's something we're going to you know, really pursue. Yeah. 